Egypt, a home country to historical pyramids and economic vibrant, such as Suez Canal. The country has a population of about 102 million, and its GDP grew by 5% in the first quarter of 2022. It also stands at number three in the continent as the largest economy, a home to the pharaohs and a popular soccer team, Al Ahli, with their coach being a South African, Pito Musimani. Egypt is famous for its ancient civilization, a market that cannot be ignored, and that is the reason South Africa is trying to tap into that space. Pretoria is strengthening its relations with Cairo. Well, we have a joint commission between South Africa and Egypt, which was established uh, many years ago at the inception of South Africa's democracy. We've not serviced it as well as we should have done. Germ uh, Egypt is a very big uh, uh, population. It's a country uh, that has an economy that's growing. They've got an increasing interest, particularly in links with sub-Saharan Africa, and are very keen to establish strong economic ties with South Africa. So I'm hoping that uh, our visit there, I'm also uh, hoping to go and see the new smart city that is being built uh, uh, in Egypt, uh, so that I get a sense of how we might influence our own new coastal city uh, in South Africa. The war in Ukraine has affected African countries. This has led to challenges of supplies. Africa is trying to build its capacity on supplies. Well, I think the key issue for us is, is the increase uh, in the price of petroleum and the knock-on effect it has on all other goods and all, on all trade matters. It is something we must address. We've had uh, good grain harvests in South Africa in the past few years, so I think on that side we have some protection. But should this conflict last for a very long time, obviously the knock-on effects become even worse uh, for us. So it's in all our interest to negotiate a peaceful outcome. It's what South Africa has been calling for. Minister's next stop will be Equatorial Guinea, where she will join the President Cyril Ramaphosa at the African Union Extraordinary Summit. Well, these are, Sophie, I think two extremely critical summits for South Africa. The first one is uh, on terrorism and how we combat it together as the African continent. And the second is really looking at the humanitarian uh, situation which often arises from conflicts in the various countries on the continent and so looking at pledging and committing as African countries toward the humanitarian relief of those who are suffering the worst consequences of terrorism and internecine uh, warfare. The South African chief diplomat has also emphasized a need for Africa to speed up integration where countries can do business among themselves. The Tawasotezi SFC News, Johannesburg.